we're going to be hearing from a group doing sustainable, non-competitive processing by ranchers for ranchers. Uh, this is the Bay Area Rancher Co-op. So please welcome Dusky and Sarah. Take it away. Okay. I'm, I'm Dusky Estes. I'm a chef, farmer, and rancher. I had a farm to table restaurant for 19 years in Sonoma County called Zazu and now have Black Pig Meat Co. We make amazing pasture raised bacon and a whole line of snout to tail products. And if you think you recognize me, you might recognize me from your own TV. <laughs> I sometimes get to be on Food Network playing a chef. And today with me is Sarah Silva from Green Star Farms in Sebastopol. Hi, I'm Sarah Silva. I'm the rancher at Green Star Farm, an 85 acre sustainable ranch out in Sonoma County. I am one of 16 Bay Area ranchers involved in the Bay Area Ranchers Cooperative and currently the treasurer of the board. And without us today or not with us today is Kathy Webster, who uh, is a rancher from Tomcat Ranch in Pescadero. We are three of the women founders of the 16 ranchers that have come together to solve a problem. Right now, we are selling our meat within roughly 40 minutes of where we raise our, our animals. We are forced to travel over 250 miles, in many cases, just to harvest those animals. There are currently five plants in California which harvest four species, beef, pork, lamb, and goat. Of that, two do not offer custom harvest to the local ranches. One plant is about 150 miles away from Sonoma County, and the other two plants are over 250 miles away from Sonoma County. At the end of 2019, the local ranching community lost access to the only multi-species USDA slaughter facility in the Bay Area within 150 miles. Back in December, a small group of ranchers and stakeholders came together to assess the viability of a USDA processing solution to fix the food problem. To add to the bottleneck, COVID-19 caused the shutdown of big meat plants, resulting in bigger producers squeezing out access to the smaller ranchers, overwhelming the existing too few small and mid-sized plants, thus highlighting the need for decentralized food systems. Our mission at Barcy is simple, to serve our community of ranchers and farmers by providing access to local processing with transparency, honesty, and dedication. Our solution is by ranchers and for ranchers providing a regional, humane, and no-stress harvest while creating job opportunities and a model for other regions. An opportunity is knocking. We have found a formal USDA harvesting facility in Sonoma County with easy access to 101 and Highway 12. It would be the site for our mobile unit and for an additional cut and wrap facility. And in collaboration with Ag and Open Space Sonoma, Bar C is working to uh, purchase this property. After six months of market research on, in logistics and finances, we compiled a list of more than 80 direct-to-consumer ranchers in Northern California. Together, we harvest more than 10,000 head of livestock annually. But, um, our research shows the demand is twice what the unit can handle, with 60% of these animals coming from less than 50 miles away. We become cash flow positive in just 10 months, and that's with projections of only running at 62% of our capacity. The business model is simple. As an agricultural co-op, we provide a service to our members. The ranchers pay for the harvest and processing of the animals, and in turn sell the final products directly to their customers. Any profit generated from these services goes back to the owners of the cooperative, the ranchers themselves. It's a virtuous circle that anchors the local food system and supports ranchers and consumers alike. Our projections show we will be profitable by our third fiscal year. The ranchers are currently driving to Orland, Dixon, Turlock, Corning, Eureka, and Paso Robles for processing. Just counting 12 of the rancher members in the past eight months, we have already driven more than once around the world, over 26,000 miles. An added benefit to the proposed Sonoma location is a 78% reduction in CO2 emissions. We intend to have the mobile unit in place by May of 2021. To make this happen, we need to raise a total of $1.2 million by year's end. In order to receive the mobile harvesting unit, 
on time, we need to secure $500,000 by the end of this month. To date, we have $117,000 and a commitment of an additional $250,000 if we can raise $100,000 by the year, end of October. Join us as a social impact investor. Our website is bayarearanchers.com and our email is invest at bayarearanchers.com. Thank you very much for your time and we welcome your questions. Fantastic. What a wonderful presentation. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's, let's have a, a question or two. Hi, I wonder if I could persuade Sarah to get more on the screen there. <laughs> Hi. Um, no worries. Um, uh, really great presentation, you guys, and uh, really happy to see this coming together as a co-op. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, I guess uh, just one of the questions uh, that I had was around management. So it's a cooperative, everybody's pitching in, but who's actually going to manage um, the, the company and the project? Is it going to be one of you ranchers or are you hiring outside help? That's a really That's good question. Really um, no, our design is, is, is simple. We have a general manager that reports to the board. The general manager will run the mobile harvesting unit and the cut and wrap facility. And there will also be managers that run those two parts. So there'll be a whole set of staff that will work with uh, the ranchers and the board um, to run the facility. It won't be relying on just the ranchers. Uh, great presentation, both of you. Um, and great to hear that Kathy's involved. Um, mm -hmm. I actually looked into potentially buying a slaughterhouse years ago, but needed this kind of co-op that you've built in, in all the you know, the throughput that, that'll go through it because of that. Um, can you talk a little bit about the services? Um, is it kind of primals or do you take it all the way to, to value add products as well? All the way to value added products. Um, well, we can, we can do primals, we can do whole animals, we can offer them to existing cut and wrap facilities because we're not trying to get into competition with all the ranchers and where they prefer to have their meat cut at this time. But we also will offer full cut and wrap services, smoking and sausages. The facility already actually has all of that and is is permitted for both slaughter and the cut and wrap. So right. it's kind of perfect. 